In Insomniac, we have a very long history of making many different types of games. Here, take a look. Players think about our cinematics, they think about weapons that push the envelope, and they think about interesting movement. As developers, we learn better with every project. <laughs> Let's do it again. We're always challenging ourselves to try something that we've never done before. We are always happy to assist. When we started Ratchet & Clank, we felt like, wow, we've got a lot to prove. Creating spaces that really compel people to explore and feel like just these interesting set pieces or elements of story and adventure that just draw you in and, and are really immersive. Sunset Overdrive was about giving the player a big city that is effectively a playground and letting them run around with traversal. Just having the fun of moving across the space at uh, breakneck speeds. Engine Knower was a third-person camera, and so traversal was very much like a console game. We made some interesting discoveries, and for us, it was just seeing the tip of the iceberg for how VR enhanced traversal in a way that couldn't be done before. Over the course of Unspoken, we got to push a few more boundaries. We moved to a first-person movement scheme, and now you could teleport. We made sure that you could see your opponent, you could see their full body moving with tracked head and hands the way a human moves. When we make creative decisions, it is always a balance between the data that we're getting from what players are actually doing and our gut feeling. Going forward, doing that community outreach and making sure the game facilitates that level of community is going to be a strong focal point. In this new project, you'll be able to go wherever you want. We're going to see a potential for movement and exploration that breaks out of the 2D plane. Fans can expect a lot of the things Insomniac Games is known for. Crafting good stories, good controls, and, you know, a little bit of humor, maybe some tears, I don't know. For a very, very long time, we've wanted to make a game that was about establishing a sense of wonder to create really immersive, beautiful spaces and apply it to a new palette of open world adventure. To be able to bring that into the VR space is definitely the next evolution that we're going for.